Hey y'all, my name is Ryan Olson with Whitebone Creations. This is a beautiful javelina skull, and this is the method I used to clean it. Thank you so much for watching. I recently had somebody say, can you please show us the animal with the hide on first? Here's that look, hide on, hide off, meat off. If you wanna see all the skinning and the meat removal, you need to download the Whitebone Creations app. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Once your javelina is skinned, you removed as much meat as you can and you've separated the bottom jaw from the head. I fill a pot with water, set it on top of my burner, put the skull in, add a little degreaser, in this case Dawn dish soap, because it's all I had, start a big fire, bring it to a boil, then I pull it out and I'm gonna power wash off everything I can. My rule is you wanna spray into every hole in every orifice. Anywhere there is meat or tissue, make it go away. Let's get to washing. This part is all really straightforward. Just take your power washer and just spray, spray, spray. Sometimes it's easier to cut yourself a hole where you can see the bone and you've got tissue on either side and just spray underneath that tissue as you work your way around till you have nothing but exposed bone left. I am also gonna spray the brain out right here, shooting through the eye socket and then out the brain hole. This becomes one of those just the right angle things. Then I take a little wafer bit and right up underneath the back of the head, there's two little nodules. In most cases, they're like an ear butt, but in a little tiny javelina like this that looks like a pig, even though it's not, they've got these two little knobs right down there. I like to wallow those out so I can get all that brain connective stuff out. It just makes for a really beautiful finished piece. Same rules apply for the bottom jaw. Now something to remember, whenever you get into things without antlers or horns, I always look at them as a two piece project where you have the head and the bottom jaw. For example, a coyote or a bobcat or a pig, whatever, right? Just keep that in mind. Once everything is good and clean, I drop it into a pot of water and on this particular animal right here, because it's not very big and my pot is not very big, I'm gonna add about a half gallon of aqua silk. Now this product comes from a pool supply and it's like a 27% by volume liquid peroxide. It's not designed for what I'm using, but it works brilliantly. Anything with a heavy peroxide content will work for this process. I bring it to a boil, turn off the heat, pull it out, and power wash off anything I missed. The beauty of the peroxide, it will whiten and degrease, and it will expose everything you missed in the initial wash. It'll turn like a yellow, gelatinous, sticky mess. Just power wash it off, and if need be, put it back in the chemical for a few minutes, pull it out, and set it in front of a fan to dry. Now fast forward 24 hours in my climate here on the west coast, it will be dry in 24 hours. I then give it a brush coat of mop and glow, and then in 10 minutes, I have a beautiful finished product. Be kind to one another, clean up those skulls. Woo Good work. <laughs>